So these days there's a lot of free wireless networks out there, but um, the problem with some of these wireless networks is they have the sites blocked by services such as WebSense, where they only allow you to get to certain websites. This is common at uh, free internet and uh, some companies. This tutorial is going to show you how to set up an SSH tunnel to get around those block sites. You can also use SSH for secure FTP and um, remoting into a server. Go ahead and load up Firefox and type in Foxy Proxy into a Google search. Foxy Proxy is what's going to allow us to tunnel through SSH. There's two versions of Foxy Proxy, standard and basic. For our purpose, all we need is the basic. So go ahead and click on that, newest release. It's going to take you to the download page. Go ahead and click on continue to download and then add to Firefox. This is going to download it and install it right into Firefox so you don't have to mess with any uh, external installation. Go ahead and install it even though it says it's not um, verified. It's downloading it and installing and then it's going to ask us to restart Firefox. So go ahead and click on that. And in a few seconds we're going to have re, uh, Firefox restarted. So there it is. Behind The window behind here shows that the Foxy Proxy was installed. We can close that. And in the tools menu, we have a Foxy Proxy basic entry now, and you can see it's uh, disabled at the moment. Because I'm doing this tutorial in Linux, I'm going to assume that SSH is already installed. It usually is with most distributions. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal and uh, type in the command to connect. It's going to be SSH, whatever your server name is then do a minus L and you can specify your uh, login name and minus D capital D and then type in your loopback address colon whatever you want your um, port to be in this case we're going to use 5080 just for testing enter in your password to connect to your SSH server and there we are once you have your command prompt we're good to go so we can go back to Firefox go into tools and then foxy proxy basic and then we're going to go into options and create our proxy. All right, we're in options. We see only the default. Click on add a new proxy. Now we have to make sure that the SOX proxy is checked and we're going to leave the SOX5 radio button checked. Now put in your loopback address, which is 127.0.0.1 and the port we picked, 5080 in this case. Go ahead and hit done. And we can see at the bottom that it's disabled but we have a entry in the menu and if we try to go to the site because it's disabled if we try to go to a block site we're gonna see the block page and there it is so we are this um, site is denied on this network so if we go to uh, turn our proxy on now we can see it's activated and if we try to go to YouTube again, we'll see that it's now, we're now able to get to it. And you can see down in the bottom, this is uh, twirling that shows you that it's working and it's going through the proxy. Go into tools again, Foxy Proxy Basic, turn it off, and then try to get to YouTube again. And we're going to see that it is blocked. So all you need to do is turn it back on, and uh, that's it. You can turn it on and off at will. So that's about all it takes to set up a SSH tunnel. You can get around most websites. This isn't going to work for all networks and all sites. Um, but um, please remember, use this at your own risk. There's a chance you could get banned from the network or get in trouble if you're using it at work. So we're not held responsible for any of that. And uh, for more tutorials and videos, please come to LearnFilms.com. Thanks.